Hello everyone, this is Martin with Steadfast and Ryan here in Houston. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, making some money. I know it's a hard environment right now to be working in if you're a driver. Please, 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 I ask for patience from you. Uh, it's a difficult thing to understand what's happening right now. Basically, the rates have tanked big time from 2021 to 2023. Uh, I've seen and we've seen a big change. I think at this point, we've found the bottom. I don't think that there's customers out there that believe that they're going to get rates any cheaper than it already is. The only thing I see happening is this debt crisis, is, this situation with the debt crisis is real, but we can't worry about that. We got to keep worrying about making money and trying to make money because we just got to keep working. That's all we got to do. Now, as a driver, I would recommend you right now. I'm mean, Like I said, I don't know what you guys go through individually. Every, everybody has their own finances. Everybody has their own wants, their own needs. But at this point, I believe it is time to throttle back a little bit on what's happening. And not throttle back. That's the wrong word of saying. I'm sorry. Uh, sit back a little bit and just assess what's happening. Look at what's happening. Pay attention to what's happening. It's not that we want the rates to drop. Nobody in transportation wants the rates to drop. They're dropping because they have to drop at this point. Um, there's not a lot of work to go around. So when that, when that happens, there's more demand for the same shipments. Uh, there's, you know, let's say in 2021... They can only find one carrier at the time to pull a load for the customer. But in 2023, they can find 10, 20 carriers to do that same load. So they're going to let the basically the trucking companies outbid each other. Um, and whoever gives them the best price with the best service, I would assume, gets the business. <clears throat> they don't necessarily only go for the cheapest price because the customers aren't dumb. They know that they get what they pay for as well. And us as trucking companies... When we wheel and deal with the customers and negotiate these rates, and then you go back to the driver and you give them the load, on the owner-operator side, if you get pushback from the owner-operator that the owner-operator feels that that load doesn't pay enough, <laughs> let's say you get pushback from the owner-operator saying that that load doesn't pay enough. Well, after you've negotiated with the customer, let's say for a week or two or probably even a month, two months on those rates because it's going to be consistent and steady work, um, you you negotiate with this customer for a period of time and then the driver tells you that they don't want to do it because it doesn't pay enough. Um, and this environment, and I'm going to tell you guys the way someone once told me a long time ago in 2008. If, if you see that the economy is kind of at a standstill or there's not enough work to go around or work has just just straight slowed down and there's people that do not want to work and there's people that do want to work you start giving the work to the people who do want to work it's not that they're doing work for less money than you or less money than it should pay for it's just what the market is calling for at the time every trucking company has different customers I hear it all the time. Man, well, that company over there is paying $2,000 to Dallas. And that company over there is paying $3,000 to Dallas. Well, you know, why are you only paying, you know, $1,700 to Dallas? So then you ask yourself as a company, well, why aren't you working over there at that company? Number one. Number two is they may have a different set of customers over there. They may have a different set of agreements with those customers over there. Um, they may have different things that we don't know about. One stop, two stop, chassis splits, overweights, hazmats. We, there's, there's things that, or sometimes it's just a onesie twosie load. And from drivers to drivers, let's be honest with you guys. I'll be honest with you guys. I have seen and heard more drivers lie to another driver about loads and rates than I have anybody in the office lie to drivers about loads and rates. Um, why I don't know, but it's a competition I know between, you know, the the drivers who makes more money, who who, who does the best loads, 
And that shouldn't be that way. It really, really shouldn't be that way. Because at, at the end of the day, you guys are, you know, co-workers, your colleagues with each other. Uh, yes, there is competition between one another. But at the end of the day, you pay your own bills. They don't pay your bills. You know, they don't. You're, you're, the driver next to you doesn't pay your bills. You pay your own bills. So what I always tell everybody is keep your expenses down as much as possible on your business side. On your personal, man, to each their own. If you want to buy a boat, buy Lamborghinis, that's that's whatever you want to do. That's up to you. Corvettes and Escalades, that's completely up to you. You know, $500,000 houses, $400,000 houses. Everyone has their wants and their needs. So I think it's hard for anybody dispatching to, to keep up with the driver's lifestyle um, when they have to make 3000 a week. It's, it's very difficult because it's it's hard to guarantee anybody a certain amount, a guaranteed amount weekly, um, especially as a business owner. Anybody that's a business owner, I can thinks, I think can tell you that your checks are going to fluctuate. Your checks go up and down. You're not going to be consistent every single week. Some good, some some weeks are good. Some weeks are bad. And that's just what it is when you run a business. And as an owner operator, you're running a business. Um, that business model is starting to want to change, unfortunately, by the government. Uh, you can say AB5 is the start. I won't talk about that in this video. But because of things like that, that are that I am starting to see change is why I ask you guys and I beg you drivers to please understand the current environment. It's, it's a tricky environment for anybody rating right now. Anybody giving rates out, quotes out. They don't want to go beneath what they already are. Um... How much longer this is going to go on for, I don't know. I can only believe and think that it might be to just the end of this year. Election season became, you know, tends to be a little bit tricky. Mix it in with, you know, the whole China situation and the Chinese New Year. And I'm not saying we fully depend on China and intermodal, but it does come into play a little bit, um, at least for right now. 2008 is is a similar you know time period for me they, they say the past doesn't repeat itself but it sure as shit rhymes um this is one of those occasions I, I don't see another covid situation happening anytime soon i don't see the the businesses closing like covid once closed everyone i don't see you know a great depression i hope not anytime soon um but I do see a stagflation, which is the economy is stagnant. It's not moving. And we have high inflation, which is kind of sort of where we're at right now. Um, which if we get higher inflation and less work, that's actually going to be worse. Uh, that's when the rates might be even lower because people at that point are just doing whatever they can. And you hope that the fuel prices don't go any higher than they already are. But that's probably not going to happen. I do see the fuel prices going higher towards the end of this year now with that said i do see prices going back up towards the end of this year at least after august uh maybe after june july but we'll see we'll see we'll see that's yet to be you know i'm not i'm not predicting anything but kind of sort of from what i'm reading and what i'm hearing you know i, I got my fingers crossed for everyone and ourselves um <clears throat> also i think it's a good time that if you're not understanding why the rates are dropping and then here's another one there were trucking companies that i believe were doing the right thing for their people and for themselves when the rates had to go up in 2021 2022 a little bit um i mean there were trucking companies in houston charging four thousand dollars from houston to dallas and while while i knew that that was unsustainable People weren't questioning that. Like the drivers weren't questioning why you're paying me too much. They were like, hell yeah, I'll take it. But they weren't. I don't know if people thought that that wasn't normal. Because that wasn't normal. It's something that inflation is a phenomenon of economic, you know, levels that I wouldn't begin to. I don't know. That's just beyond my comprehension, beyond my intelligence. But I do know that what goes up must come down. And the deflation that we're seeing right now from the rates dropping to the point that they are right now, we're back to 2008 levels in some cases, just a little bit above 2009. Um, 
And this is all that I've been watching for the last, you know, 20 years of me doing this. And as someone who does this for a living and sees the ins and outs of what's happening, I ask you guys and the drivers to please be patient. And this is the time that it's, unfortunately, this is going to weed out a lot of bad people that shouldn't be in business or should not be in the industry, better yet. Not in business because everyone deserves to, you know, have a shot. But at least in the industry, people that are negligent with with the trucking company, people that are negligent with, with their own, you know, little things.